Is Goldeneye the best Bond film ever made? Yes, I think so, and I'm sure some of you are dying to comment straight away to tell me why I'm wrong. All I ask is that you hear me out before telling me that my opinion sucks. So, Goldeneye was a smashing debut for Pierce Brosnan as Bond. You may not know this, but the film was the fourth highest grating film of 1995. Was it, was it really released 25 years ago? Okay, I am feeling old, but anywho, Goldeneye was the most successful Bond movie since Roger Moore's Moonraker back in 1979. In the movie, directed by Martin Campbell, Bond is sent to Russia that is still feeling the effects of the Soviet breakup to investigate the theft of Goldeneye, a pulse-emitting jamming device that orbits the Earth, which, in the wrong hands, can do some real damage. Why can't you just be a good boy and die? That's one trick I've never learned. One of the reasons why I particularly love Goldeneye is because I was obsessed with the game on the N64, as I'm sure many people my age were as well. I remember me and my best mate, hello Daniel White, how are you doing? Uh, every Saturday we would walk to town just so we could play the demo. And then on his birthday when he got an N64 with Goldeneye, oh my god, we would play that game for literally hundreds of hours. It was one of the highlights of growing up. And having played the game for so much before actually seeing the film, I just felt connected to that movie straight away. I remember watching it for the first time and I'd be like, ah, oh, there's the damn scene or there's the facility level. And as for the characters, they actually felt like real people. Bond himself, he didn't feel like something that Austin Powers would take the mick out of. And Natalia as well, she was a Bond girl with a brain. She wasn't there just for her body. It also has two of the franchise's most memorable villains. Firstly, Sean Bean as 006. What a great idea. Having your villain as an agent, it means he knows all the tricks that 007 does. He's had the same training and he knows all about the gadgets. Genius. And then there's 006's henchwoman, Xenia, who provocatively crushed her victims between her legs during intercourse. Let's be honest, if you're gonna die, there's worse ways to go. And let's not forget as well the goofy character Boris, who was the much needed comic relief, meaning that the other characters could be a lot more serious whilst there's still laughs happening throughout. And Goldeneye as well, it introduced Judy Dench as M. And before this point as well, M just felt a bit like a filler, but this M actually had depth. She was a badass. If you think for one moment I don't have the balls to send a man out to die, your instincts are dead wrong. I have no compunction about sending you to your death. Having characters that felt real, had actual backstories and had depth, it just made the film so much more compelling. With a lot of other Bond films, I'm, I'm pretty much just waiting for the action scenes, but with Goldeneye, I, I was fascinated by the story as well. Even when it was just talking, I was hooked. If I'm being honest, what perhaps helps make Pierce Brosnan's Goldeneye stand out is the fact that his three films following, they were just awful. I mean, take this clip for example. Here is Pierce Brosnan surfing in front of what is really bad green screen. And if you're thinking, well, maybe it just hasn't aged well, no. I remember watching that film back in the day at the cinema and even then thinking, that really does not look good. But what does look good in Goldeneye is the cinematography. It is absolutely gorgeous throughout. And the stunts were real. For example, the damn bungee. Yep, somebody actually did that. An interesting fact for you, I once did the world's highest bungee jump and I remember thinking I'm going to be like Pierce Brosnan in Goldeneye, play it cool Clarky. As you'll see from this following clip, that didn't quite go to plan.
GoldenEye, it may not be the slickest and most polished Bond, I would give that crown to Casino Royale, which by the way, Martin Campbell also directed, meaning that he has successfully relaunched the Bond franchise not once, but twice, bravo. But yeah, I think I was just the perfect age for when GoldenEye came out. I just have really fond memories of not only playing the game with my good friends, but watching the film so many times as well. And even when I watch it today, I get that great feeling back. It is so nostalgic. So for me, GoldenEye is definitely the best Bond film ever. What's your thoughts on GoldenEye? And of course, the big burning question, what is your favourite Bond film and why? Let me know in the comments below. And if you are a Bond fan as well, my next video is going to be a James Bond quiz. If you subscribe and click that bell button, you'll be notified when I release it. I look forward to seeing you then. Bloody love you. Bye.